Service operation has to typically balance a lot of conflicting priorities while trying to attain its objectives, such as the conflict of external view of IT versus an internal view of IT. What this means is managing users' experience of the services or the external view versus managing the technological components delivering that service experience or the internal view. And the conflict of stability versus response, which means that business want a faster response from IT to business changes. But IT has to balance the stability of current services while managing those changes. Or putting it in another way, how to change a service without disrupting current services. Another conflicting priority is achieving an optimal balance between cost and quality which means IT has to continually improve services while reducing or at least by not increasing costs. Another conflicting priority service operations has to manage is that of being proactive versus being reactive. Reactive means the IT does nothing till something goes wrong. For example, not adding additional storage to the current one is continuously running at 100% seriously impacting the performance of the service. While being proactive means continuously monitoring the storage space and adding additional storage space before the performance becomes impacted. So managing these conflicting priorities and teams and technology in service operation highlights the importance of communications. The importance of communications also lies in the fact that issues that could be between user, partners, customers or internal teams can often be mitigated or avoided through good communication. An important principle is that all communication must have an intended purpose or a resultant action. Information should not be communicated unless there is a clear audience. In addition, that audience should have been actively involved in determining the need for that communication and what they will do with the information. So the idea is not to send emails to people who have no idea why they got it and what to do with it. Some examples of communications in service operations are routine operational communication. For example, this incident ticket was resolved in time and to user satisfaction. A communication between service desk and user or technical teams. Communication between shifts. For example, shift handovers reports. Performance reporting. Communication related to emergencies. For example, outage or service downtime notification to users and customers. Training on new or customized processes and service designs. Now that we have understood the key concepts in service operations, let's understand some key terms and their definitions. These terms are part of different processes and functions of service operations, but understanding them now aids in our understanding processes and functions and their interlinkages as we go through them.